I believe how I did it. Oh, look at this. How did you get back here in time to set all this up? Well, I didn't. I was at the hospital with you all afternoon. Well, then who did it? I don't know. Maybe one of the spooks that live on the Titan. Spooks. A spook who writes notes? There's a note. What do you mean? Right here. There's a note. Let me see it. Yeah. Oh, it's from uh, Robert and Tiffany. Ah. Yeah. Dear Luke and Laura, obviously our little plan worked. With many thanks to Leslie and Rick for getting the two of you out of there today. A 20th birthday comes only once in a lifetime. <laughs> we want to give you both a night you'll never forget. There's a French... A French veal stew in the oven. Don't worry, neither of us laid a hand on it. It's good to see the oven bear silent. You'll find a bottle of the best vino you've ever tasted in the cooler. And the cake is Laura's favorite chocolate cream. We popped the corn and we imported the cranberries because we got the message that that's what you, how you wanted to decorate the Christmas tree. Have fun, the romance is on the house. Oh, Robert Tiffany, that's neat. That is neato. That's keen and neato. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open the wine right now. Good idea. That looks good. Laura Spencer? That's right. Package for you. Oh, great. You sign the seats requested. Okay. For the birthday gift? I don't know. We'll find out. There you go. How, you, how, how can you be so sure it's from Scott? It's his handwriting. What? There's a note. Oh, this I gotta hear. Luke, please don't let this ruin our evening. Just read it. To Laura, may your every wish come true. I hope you hold on to it this time, Scotty. What exactly is that supposed to mean? You really want to know? Look, we've gotten this far. What the hell's the difference? Okay. That star is the star that we put on top of the Christmas tree the night that he asked me to marry him. I'm a gag from the sentiment. Will you stop it? It is sentimental. It's very sentimental to me, but not because of Scotty. It's from my childhood. It's, uh... It's personal. Um... When I was a little kid, I used to uh, come downstairs on Christmas morning, look up at the Christmas tree and make a wish on the star. And every year it was the same. I always wished that one day I would find somebody who would just love me no matter what. And I thought that that person was Scotty, and I was wrong, because it was you. Well, your ex-old man really, uh, topped my gift. No, that's not true. I haven't even seen your gift. That's not fair. Can I open it? Sure. Let me see. Oh, it's pretty. What is it? It's a star. It's beautiful. Thank you. I love it. Do you really like I it? I love it. I love it. Put it on me. Okay. You are always my star. And I love you. I love you. All right. I think it's time you made our wish. <laughs> okay. Let's go over together. Yeah. Okay. I love you. 
Okay, let's make a big wish for all of us. All right. Oh, got it. I'll get it. Hello? Yeah, this is me. Uh-huh, hi. What? You're kidding. I did it! I don't believe it! Oh, my... Oh, yeah, sure, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I just said, Crip, well, thank you. Thank you so much for... Luke! Look, I got it! I, I got it! That was the agent. He told me that I won. They want me. They want me to be my star. I, they, I can have the job if, if I want it. I won! <laughs>